we're back in business for at Carolyn's right now on New Year's Eve. I think it's gonna be good. It looks like Tuesday morning status, which is um the cars aren't even the parking isn't even back to Intiminator. Um, Intiminator, but on our way in we did see the that there were many people coming. Would you guys ever want to do these Igloo Village things? Do it right now? No, you rent this and you have like a fireplace and stuff inside of it. What all you get? You get reserved seating at select shows, um, hot chocolate, souvenir mug, and cookie decorating, and complimentary ice skating or carriage ride. All for $300. $300? $300 for this igloo for the evening. Would you do it? Uh, I think $300 is a bit steep for that. Can we have one of those trees? <laughs> <laughs> Last year when we came here, the decorations were kind of thrown together, but this year they're pretty amazing. And look at all these Christmas trees. That's a big Christmas tree. Yeah, super stoked about this place. The Blue Ridge Country Kitchen coming here. Gonna take over. We're Wings. Wings is literally one of the worst restaurants in Carowinds. Inconsistent food. But Blue Ridge Country Kitchen coming to take over Wings and it's gonna be awesome. Rotisserie chicken, all kinds of fixings inside. It's gonna be great. A little sneak peek at what's to come here and the uh, Copperhead Strike. Looks like it's gonna be awesome. And there's that JoJo roll gonna come right out of the station there. Cannot wait to ride that ride. So exciting. Oh, what are you guys getting? Nice. I'll take one. Thank you so much. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Oh no, Blue Blasters. Careful. You gotta zap this guy. You ready to zap Boosifer? Bye guys, good luck! Get some points! You got this game. You already have to be spotted you seven points. Yes! Just in case. Because I'm terrible at this game. Are you so terrible at this? I don't know. Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> Your mom beat me. At, she had 320. The night just got made because of the petting zoo. You love the petting zoo. Guys, are uh, I mean they should be done. It's the it's after Christmas. We should not have any. Uh, or whatever. Shouldn't have right. any of these guys. And she should technically be off too. You should not be working tonight, Mrs. Claus. Well, buddy, you ready to go ride some afterburn? No, I have not ridden this ride in so long. Sometimes I care, but You're nervous yeah, about I'm it? excited. 
Should be exciting. Afterburn is the only roller coaster other than Ricochet open. And maybe the teeny tiny. Oh, that's like a little. Where is he? Oh, yeah, Afterburn. Just rode Afterburn. Afterburn's a great ride, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Especially like during the winter. Yeah, it's like nice and dark. But we did see one really cool thing when we were on Afterburn. We saw probably rows of containers in the um, parking lot that is usually for the harbor area. And we assumed it is for either the hotel they're building or it's for the roller coaster. That's been an update from Piper. I was gonna talk about after her, but she's going into some deep, deep building theory here for uh, Carowinds. <laughs> Thank you, Piper, Re yes. junior reporter Piper. Back to Afterburn. <laughs> really great ride, really smooth. Do you enjoy it? Yeah. It makes me smile, it makes my stomach go up into my, my esophagus. How many strands lights do you think they use for each one of these trees? I don't know, it's a lot of strands. We need to give up putting our Christmas tree lights up. We give up at our Christmas tree light. We use three strands on our tree. So what do you think for these? That tree is about quarter the size of these trees. Oh, these trees, so they probably use they need like a 12 maybe. That's some good, that's some good math. We're going to Charlie Brown's tree lot here. It's a lot of Christmas trees. We wonder what happens to these Christmas trees. There's so many Christmas trees. They're good trees too. Yeah, they're super healthy. And, and smells it so smells good. It smells awesome it in here. Amazing. This plus the fire. But do you think they chip these? I mean, look how tall. That's a very tall tree. It's got to be like nine or ten feet. You gonna go get? You gonna go see them so? Do you even know me? Mag, did you get hugs from Charlie Brown? Yeah. Big hugs? Because it's like, you'll never leave my heart. will <laughs> never leave me. Uh, while we have a down moment, we'll talk about the fact that uh, we love Winterfest, but there love needs Winterfest. to be more rides open. Yeah. You see Intimidator right behind us. I don't know what the laws are about rides, but this should be open, like on a night yeah. like tonight. It's like 64 degrees. There should be no reason. And maybe if you choose to do it based on weather, I know you can mm -hmm. get cold in the winter here sometime, but but, is, but a night like you. tonight is really good yes. to have more rides open. We love you, Carowinds. We love you so much. These are kisses from a friend, not wounds from an enemy. We love you so much. You should have more rides open during Winterfest. Yeah, I second that. Yeah, but thank you for being open now because this has been a fun night so far. Yeah, this is a good family thing to do. Yeah, lights are beautiful. Everything's awesome. So much yeah. fun. I don't know who this guy is. This guy right here is Goals. He worked that thing into a tizzy. And now he and his daughter are just enjoying the, the fruits. Oh yeah. All right, fairs. Working hard. Don't stop! Don't stop, don't stop! Keep going! Keep going, sweet pea! Oh, I'm so proud. How was that? Dizzy. It was what? Did you have a good time? You okay? No. <laughs> you like that? I love it. It's so good. Charles Dickens Village here. Oh, there's a ghost. Oh, yes. Which ghost is that? Christmas past, Christmas present, Christmas future. That's so cool. Oh yeah. It's glorious. It's your favorite thing, right? Do you love these? Yeah. Ever since you're a little kid. <laughs> Chef Chris is the best chef in all of the park industry. Chef Chris is number one with a bullet. Number one with a bullet. Getting it going. Ooh, baby. All right, so Chef Chris hooked us up with some lo that lobster roll and garlic parm fries. Emily, give it a shot. What do you think? Here we go. What do you think? Is it good? So be it. What do you think, babe? See a bite of it yet? Oh. That's a big piece of lobster right there. That's a big piece. Hold on, I got okay, okay. There we go. I'm getting focused. There we go. That's a huge piece of lobster. I know. Maggie, give it a shot. It's so good. Oh, I'm so excited. Give it a shot. Is it good? 
Why have I never had that before? He's never been here before. <laughs> no, I think he's never had it in his life before. <laughs> wow, I'm glad. That's all the of the air. Delicious. It was what do you so say? Good. What do you say? Thank you. It was so good. It was so, real, it was not park food. It was amazing. It was elevated park food for sure. The rosemary, uh, garlic fries are really good. Those Thank you, Chef Chris. Delicious. You're awesome. And we got to talk to Miss Pat. Miss Pat. Miss is Emma. I love Miss Pat. Well, this is quite the find. Some oh fudge Christmas story. Oh fudge. Comes a little spoon so you'll be able to eat your fudge. Chocolate walnuts. Oh fudge. But I didn't say fudge. All right, so we're not gonna make it to fireworks tonight because we're old and worn out. Yeah, I'm pooped. That's okay. That's fine. We had a blast. 2019 will come even if we don't be here at midnight. <laughs> Carowinds did it well. <laughs> Happy New Year. So much Happy fun. New Year.